Hello guys and welcome back to the Trident Free tutorial series and in this video I am going to be covering Rhodes. The reason for that is simply because Rhodes has a very very similar system to that of Rivers which I showed in the last video. On my screen you can see that I haven't and that I'm just cruising around my road as I did with the river and I've just got a vehicle going around on top of it. The reason for demonstrating this is to show that uh, I can pretty much maneuver the road system however I want. I can make it go up over edges, I can make it go underwater and whatnot. Uh, the reason for showing that is just to show you that it is all a nice projected texture which goes onto the terrain. And I haven't just done this all with uh, with the layer painter. I haven't done this that so. Just press escape there, and you can see that I've got my terrain, uh, my road, and that's gone under the water, which you can see pretty clearly. And that's pretty much demonstrating how the material is projected. You can see that the actual path nodes itself is above the water. However, the however the material is underneath projected onto the terrain. So let's start off and I'm going to go to my main area and begin making my road. So I'm just going to get a nice quick top down view there. I'm going to go to Miscellaneous and choose road which is right next to my river. So let's just go ahead and go to my start point which is this cool funky boat, escape boat that I've got here. I'm just going to click and drag and begin to make my road. Here we go. Just gonna make this go round. Yeah, I know it's not the most perfectly shaped road, but it will do for the time being. I just double clicked and ended that off. So over here we've got the few important parameters which are width, border width, and then we don't need to worry about any of these other than sort priority however I'm going to go over that later in the video so let's just go ahead and change the width to 7 and my roads have got a little bit bigger and it came out pretty well so that's what I'm going to be using for now I'm not going to cover border, border width just yet uh, as it's not completely needed however just leave that and let's go over to um, hmm, material. MTL, no custom material. We can just choose one of these. There's a few places for some roads. There is materials, roads, forest mud dark, and uh, you shouldn't be able to see. Them. There we go. And just move on to this monitor. And now, if I choose that, we've got our preview, and then we've got the preview for this. There's not that much difference. However, there is uh, some other materials for your roads elsewhere. And those materials for the roads, the other ones are under terrain, roads, and then we've got a load of these. We've got terrain strip rub rubber. I probably won't manage to see these, but here we go. There's another road material. We've got a lot. However, these aren't so important. So let's just go ahead and go back to our initial road material that we liked which is this one I'm going to assign that to my road and then we're just going to close the material editor to see that we've got our lovely nice new uh, road so there is one cool thing that we can do with our roads is that we can make we can align it to the height map so let's say I go ahead and edit one of these path nodes Oh, sorry. Don't double click on those as it actually, uh, as it won't play out so well. Simply because it just deletes it. So let's just drag this point up. And here we go. Oh, wrong axis. And boom. And I'm just going to drag that up. And drag this one up too. And now I can align the height map to this. So, we'll now have this nice lovely curve that goes all the way up the terrain. Uh, what, pretty much what CryEngine has done has pulled the terrain up to match to the roads, so we have a nice core system going on here. So, I'm just going to try out one of these vehicles to show you that it can work 
very, very well on the terrain. Sorry about that one, it's kind of flipped. And I'm not too sure what's just gone down there, but... Oh no. Okay, sorry about that, my cry engine just crashed on me, and I had to quickly rebuild my road, ready to continue the tutorial. Anyway, let's just go ahead and go over to one of the vehicles that I have over here. I will show you how to put in your own vehicles in a moment, but I'm just going to quickly go around here and drive up my terrain which my road has generated. And it seems to be working out all cool and dandy until I went up. That's just due to the steepness. However, if you don't do it something stupidly steep like mine, you will be perfectly fine. So, let's just go ahead and click this, uh, select this road, I have the wrong road selected apparently, and there we go, choose this, move it down a little bit, and let's align my height map, and there we go, we got something a little more plausible and it won't be like a ramp anymore. So. Uh, that's really all I want to show you in this video. You should be able to work this out, uh, just changing width with uh, each of the different points as you did with the river tutorial last time. But if I just change that, then change this to 25, it will get wider. If I change it to 2, it will go small. So, that's about all I want to show you in this video. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.